so I have the drip on okay so my hand feels so cold it feels weird because my hand is so cold and she said it's normal <sighs> hey guys so um I feel like my baby is going to come in a few hours like today this is actually um 1 35 a.m in the morning and i'm just packing my things i'm actually 38 weeks and three days pregnant today so this is too early this is not planned at all um i was awake around i think 12 midnight and i just felt something rush out of my body and you know i had to rush to the bathroom and apparently it's my amniotic fluid okay so my water just broke and it's been leaking since then i've changed like about five parts in the last one hour um i don't know so we are just packing our stuff i'm yet to pack my hospital bag okay so just like i said i'm 38 weeks okay 38 weeks and three days i had plans of packing my bag this week i have everything i need in the hospital okay but i've just not packed it in my bag okay so that's what i'm doing now we're going to the hospital now um i can't wait i was trying to wait till morning because it's still leaking like you know it was dropping initially but now it's getting heavier i'm losing a lot of fluid um you know my tummy doesn't feel that heavy anymore so you can tell that i'm really losing a lot of fluid i don't really have any plan in place like i've not even made my hair i was supposed to braid my hair guys but you see, I still have my wig on. This is the hair I made for my photo shoot. I did my photo shoot on Saturday and this is when it's the early morning. So I had plans of making my hair this weekend. I had plans of packing my bag this weekend. Um, I also have my daughter. We have my daughter. Like We are going to be going with her to the hospital because we don't have anywhere to drop her this night. Okay. So I don't know what's going to happen from here. I'm just packing my bag now. I didn't plan for this baby to come this early. I was actually telling everyone that, oh, the baby's going to come late. I'm going to have the baby maybe a few days after my due date. But oh, it's happening like this now. And yeah, I'm going to hospital. Everywhere is still a mess. Everywhere in the house is still a mess. Like I had plans to fix everywhere this weekend. You know, we'll do a lot of cleanup and all that. But, you know, this didn't go as planned, okay? So this is what I'm packing guys. Y'all can see. See I have my pad here. <laughs> I have my pad here because I've been changing it like every 20 to 30 minutes, okay? So I'm trying to pack the bag. This is um um the bag my friend got for me for my baby registry. You guys can see still have the label. I just brought it out now. That is the pack. I just brought it out now and I'm trying to pack my baby stuff inside. Okay, this is for the baby. This is a nipple cream and um what's this called again <laughs> i forgot it man i forgot it i can't remember anything at this point okay this is the baby's clothes i'm going with two clothes just in case this one is three months and this one is zero zero to three months okay and then i have this um hairband here okay so yeah i'm going to um update you guys later it's hard for me to let go but I think that I'm finally feeling good again So hard cause I loved you But I'm finally feeling like myself All of the wounds that were open by you are now closing I finally know how to live without hurting myself I think that I am moving on cause I do feel less broken I needed a sign, this is a sign that I'm healing I'm finally healing from you I'm finally So guys, I'm trying to check my checklist, okay? To know if I'm like forgetting anything I want to try and get everything I will need in the hospital I'm having severe back pain like I'm having contraction but um, I'm not timing it here it is still like far apart but then whenever I'm having it I'm having very like bad back pain okay yeah so okay I found my checklist <laughs> I took a screenshot um, 
let me see a pair of shower slippers here uh, dry shirt no I don't need a Whew. Just put some clothes, loose comfy. Um, I think I need a blanket. Uh, okay, I think I pretty much have everything. Everything that is important. And my husband can always come back, okay, and pick some stuff, okay? I don't think they'll ask me to go home. I think I'm going to have the baby because uh, my amniotic fluid is already leaking okay so there is no way um they're going to let me go home so i know that i'm surely having the baby today guys i'm in the hospital now and we came in through the um like ob emergency and they just put me inside this room and they asked me to change to the gown okay my contractions are like um six five six minutes apart now and they're lasting about two minutes currently so yeah they gave me the gown the hospital gown to change into and you know this cup to pee in <laughs> so yeah that's it for now so guys <laughs> this is my hospital gown okay i just changed to the hospital gown i hate these gowns because they are so big like so 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 big but yeah um i'm currently waiting for the nurse okay to come see me they already checked my vitals and you know my height and everything so i'm waiting for the nurse to come see me um yeah they didn't let my husband in okay so because of um, mama mama is um you know it's too early this is 4 a.m in the morning and we don't have anyone we can call this early to come pick her so we had to like come to the hospital with her and they won't let her in so they are outside like at the visitors um room or waiting room or something okay they are there um he can't come in he can't leave her there either okay so anyway i think the nurse is here now i'm going to talk to you guys later so guys everything is happening so fast um, i'm 5 cm dilated like i was shocked when she said that when she checked me i was so shocked that i'm already like 5 cm dilated um so they're not letting me go back home but yeah i'm 5 cm dilated now so I'm not going home i have to stay here till i have the baby um, I'm staying in the emergency room, like the OBGYN emergency room. So um, I'm not going to be having the baby here. They will have to take me to, um, you know, the maternity side. Um, I think it's upstairs and all that. So yeah, I'm just, you know, I'm trying not to cry. I'm trying not to be emotional. Um, I'm not ready at all. <laughs> I'm not ready at all. Everything is just happening so fast. I don't know. And I'm the only one here. Um, so my husband had to go back home because of um, Mimi. Because, you know, she can't just, they can't just sit out here, okay? He can't just sit out here with her. So um, I asked them to go back home so she can get some sleep. Um, then he's going to drop her at the daycare. Okay, um, around 7 in the morning. And hopefully I've not had a baby by then because everything is moving so 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 fast I think it's around 4 30 now. So I Hope I don't have the baby by then like before he comes back because I don't know I don't know So it's about to start. Oh my god, my contraction is about to start Oh 
She said it's normal. <laughs> oh god. Oh shit. You guys, it was a struggle trying to put this in. Okay, I have very tiny veins. She had to use a very tiny needle to put this in. It was a struggle and it was so painful. <laughs> oh my god. So I'm just here alone and I'm kind of sleepy, but I can't sleep. I can't sleep because of the contractions and you know the pain and i don't know how much i can film um they have very strict policy here about filming and taking pictures um i don't know if i'll be able to film the delivery itself i don't know i don't think so <laughs> i'm hoping you know somehow i'll be able to film i don't know okay i just know they have a very strict policy here okay, i'm going to try and film as much as i can okay as much as the pain and the contractions will let me <laughs> And you guys know I'm the only one here right now, so you know it's not easy like dealing with the phone and the camera and then going through the contraction. So hopefully my husband will be back before the baby comes. Okay, so he'll be here because he really wants to be here. But hopefully um the baby is going to hold on, okay, till maybe seven, eight, nine this morning. Okay. Yeah, see you guys. Thousands of tears later. Yeah. 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 Yeah.